Okay, we're just driving out of the Spanish Highland lot. Uh, this is as, as you're going back to, to town, Trinidad. Uh, the Fisher's Peak you see in the distance there, Trinidad's right below that, I-25, and you can go south into New Mexico or uh, north up to Pueblo, then Caro Springs, and then Denver. The, these are the, this is the valley I was uh, taking pictures of from, from the property up on top, which would be that, that hill right up there. And then there's another property, 182, that's borders on the north side of that that you can't see this valley on it's pretty in here okay today we're standing on lot 248 in spanish highlands ranch and there's a i'm looking to the west i'm standing at the northwest corner of the property you can see here this is where we're standing you can see uh on my website here you can compare with videos and the google mapping and the aerial and the topo of, of how i'm going to do things here but i'm just basically going to walk along you look at the topo map you got a nice flat top it goes down to a canyon on this side and on the other side but you got a real big nice area up here to build on and do things so we're at the northwest corner it's across the road this is the access road it's two track for less than a quarter mile coming in the rest of it's <coughs> year-round maintained county road and, and such so now we're looking at the interior of the track. We're looking southeast into the track. You got to mix the tall So pines. we're still at the northwest corner. Like I say, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, basically walking along the flat top ridge to this grassy meadow area and then back to the road over here. This is uh, lot 248. Uh, power is just, uh, a, just a little bit less uh, within a quarter mile. It's at the houses right here. Uh, a couple cabins that are at the beginning of the, of the road, turnoff road. So the track goes down the western boundary, goes south. This is south, down in down in the canyon along the side of the hill. We're going to stay on top of the the hill here. And you could, what's neat about it is you can get back in this track a good ways and uh, have some great privacy. Hopefully we'll get some You got a nice wide uh, flat top here You spin around That's where we come from This is north, this direction West south you got good southern exposure east a nice moss rock up here basically you've got 360 degree views you can see the top of the west spanish peak mountain through here can't see the Sangre de Cristos, but uh, you can see the hinterlands all around from this little mesa. It's a bedding down spot of some animal. You like those pine needles underneath the trees. I go over here and you can look over this valley. I'm walking from the interior of the lot towards the western boundary where you can see views over the valley here. You come up the road actually right down there for the county road it comes up and circles around and comes in so we're still staying along the uh, western boundary I got some neat rock face cliffs right there yeah. this cliff look, overlooks the western boundary You see on the topo map that the western boundary line kind of runs along here and it goes down the bottom and you got a little bit of grass down the bottom down there. Here's the mesa we've been walking on. We just continue out on this little point. That's pretty.
and you're gonna be able to see Fisher's Peak this direction when you're standing here oh that's Raton Pass going into Mexico it's about uh, 20 25 minutes town from here you got year-round access in your I don't know the Spanish Peak Wildlife Area is only about ooh, only about uh, 15 minutes this direction you go down this road and then go through the mountains and go that way but and now you can see the tops of the two Spanish peaks and when you're standing here I get them to come in yeah they look about that big okay we're just we're just continuing to walk to the end of the point on this uh track see what we get we've come to the end point on the track you can see Wheeler Peak in Taos New Mexico over there this is the valley you know the southern boundary lines down here you can see Fisher's Peak over Trinidad I guess it's 20 25 minutes away so now what we're gonna do is go back into the lot and walk along the eastern boundary up on top of this um oh mesa point should come to a little grassy area up here right about there some tall pines in here it's nice so you tuck yourself back in this track a ways and you got a lot of privacy. And I can see the grassy area over here. You can see the East Spanish Peak poking up above the trees there. And it's pretty gentle on this side. Running down the valley over here where the eastern boundary goes. This is looking down the valley towards the eastern boundary. It's going to be right down that valley down in there. But you can see it's real gentle. You got a lot of usable land here. Um, it's not hard to hike or anything. It won't be hard to build or bring an RV or something in. This is looking towards the eastern boundary. We're headed back to the northeastern corner on the road where we started on the road. I don't know if you believe it or not, but it just, uh, there was a deer. Oh, they go right through the trees. I mean, there was a deer bedded down right underneath this tree. This one here he just jumped up and took off. Laying here, there, there's a good track here. Good trail. <laughs> 